What will be the uh, major challenges in China and India um, in which you're interested as well? Uh, uh, a slightly different approach um, there in that these are, these are huge countries, very strong, distinctive um, uh, cultures and identities, strong sense of pride. I mean, these are major countries on the international stage, and they don't need somebody coming in from the West to tell them how smart we are in the West and how we're going to change them and make them all better. They're looking for, I think, genuine partners who will come in, invest and support them, but also pay respect to their own individual cultures and recognize that we can bring some sense to them, but they will always bring some sense to us. So we're, what we're doing in both of those countries is doing joint ventures with significant domestic players. For, so in India, for example, we acquired 50% of a business in uh, Hyderabad, South Central India. Our partner is a major family um, business. The uh, principal started out in life as, as a, a medical person, made some money, dabbled in construction, preferred that to medicine, ended up building a big construction business, and then wanted to get into building materials and developed a cement business, but didn't have the expertise and know how to take it on. And we become a 50-50 partner. And we see that as a vehicle to grow through reinvesting within that business. We will put in some technical expertise and some perhaps development uh, uh, expertise as well that would help it to grow. In China, China, I suppose India has some similarity with the West, a former British colony, so it's got called the rule of law as we understand it. Uh, China has a rule of law, but it's a different concept to what we have. Uh, so there's, there's quite familiar things in India. On the other hand, there's a stronger civil service. It's slower to get decisions, it's slower to get things done. China is a different culture, very entrepreneurial, very get up and go, uh, but we have to learn how to do business their way as much as them learning from us. And we are in the process, we, have, we own one small cement business that we acquired last year. We're in the process of acquiring a, a significant stake in one of the uh, uh, cement companies which have been designated by the central government as a champion of the cement industry for the long term. We'll go in as 26% owner or initially, then go to 49% and hopefully eventually get a chance to, to go to majority. And that'll be a true partnership and we look forward to it. Are these companies um, open to your managerial uh, processes? Uh, very much so, because they are keen to learn from the West, but, but they don't need to be told how much better the West is than them, because we're realistic, we're not necessarily so much better. These are, these are countries with, and I suppose most countries in the world, with, with, with long traditions and lots of expertise and great civilizations. Uh, so yes, they want to learn from us, but they would expect us to respect them, whether it's in India or in China. That is the natural CRH way Anyway, I mean, how else could a small company have come from Ireland in 1978, put a toehold into the US, and now do over $15 billion sales and employ 50,000 people in this country? We couldn't have done it unless we respected the local people and worked with them and realized that the people that joined us would be our greatest, genuinely our greatest asset. And it's proven to be the case. So it's easy for us. It's our natural way of doing it.